Hello all, welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss about VPC peering in Google Cloud. Now, most of these notes, you can find it on the website as well. First and foremost thing, what is VPC peering? VPC peering is a concept where you're going to peer two networks either within inside a project or inside an organization. We haven't gone through the concepts of organization and project uh, but uh, at a very high level organization is something where you can create a t-suite organization and it won't be applicable for for free tire you know google cloud project google cloud accounts but when you join a company if that company is using a g suite account they'll have something like company.com as an organization and inside that you can create multiple projects and multiple folders so the vpc peering can be done inside the organization so here in this diagram as you can see uh, i have two projects and i'm going to peer these two projects we're going to learn how to do that so we're going to see how you know we're going to talk to these two vms internally for a private ip address now before we do that so what are the advantages of using vpc peering there are three main advantages as you can see in the notes here the first advantage is network latency as you can see here, when you peer the two networks, the communication between the two networks happen over a private IP address. As you all know, whenever you communicate, for instance, if you remember my last video, I have communicated from App Engine to my MySQL over a public IP address. That has a higher latency when compared to when you are interacting between two networks over a private IP address. So that's one advantage. Obviously, when you have a lower latency uh, for latency critical applications it's much better to use a vpc peered vpc uh, or a private ip address than go over internet and, and access over public ip address so obviously when you're doing it internally it's better security because you know you're not going over internet to access publicly you can control everything over a private ip address so that's the second point where it gives you a better security when you're doing internally than dealing with the risks that are associated with the public IP address. Now also, this is a common fact that cloud always charges you for egress, meaning whenever you're going out of a network, you have to pay money for that. And they generally do not charge for ingress, meaning the network coming inside to the cloud. So here as well, when you are uh, you know, peering, your egress charges will go away, but the network charges are still there. So these are the advantages of VPC peering. Now, one thing to note here is the VPC peering is only applicable for two services the Compute Engine, rather three Compute Engine, GKE, and App Engine Flexible. Having discussed the advantages, so when do you actually use VPC peering? VPC peering in organizations are generally used in multiple ways. For example, uh, you have an application here in Project A, and there are many projects in your company that would like to access that application or it's a SaaS based application or it could be any application which where you want to access that application internally right now in those conditions you would peer the network and you make sure that all the other applications are trying to access this application over an internal IP address or if you have a, a database here you know your application is running here you can also access that database internally uh, over a peered network and there are other things that companies usually do like for instance they have a network their on-premise network and they peer that with one of the project and then they peer rest of the projects with that project so that you can securely communicate your on-premise network over a private ip address so these are the you know some of the scenarios where you can uh, expect that vpc peering is used uh, now from the exams perspective in the associate I don't think there would be any question on this but you know if you are preparing for a solutions architect or rather cloud architect um, architecture exam then VPC peering is important. Let's go to the console. Alright so for this demo I'm going to use two projects and one thing to note also is you can only use custom networks when you're working on VPC peering. We're going to do most of these operations on Cloud Shell. Click on the Cloud Shell here.
and open the cloud shell in the new window then you can close this now first activate the cloud shell for a specific project uh, meaning that you know you have to set the project where we're going to create a you know custom network all right so now i have my cloud shell here i'm going to open a new tab as well so that we can operate in two tabs so i'm going to select this project as my first project to make it easier i'm going to open a notepad and copy this here uh, the project id and the second project is this one which is my first project uh, all right so to make it less confusing I'm, I'm gonna do i'm gonna use this one as my second project all right now we have two project ids and here i'm going to mark it as project one and this one project two perfect go back to the cloud shell and set the project id created the steps here i have put all the steps here first step is to set the project gcloud config set i think you are now used to this command by now paste it and set the project id gcloud config list to tell you what project now we're going to create the custom network here right the command is gcloud networks i'm going to explain you what it does a copy it here you can see here gcloud compute networks create network a so network a is the network name and subnet mode is custom so now we have a new network in this project is of a custom mode we have to add the firewall rules so i'm going to check this now we're going to create subnet inside this network and the subnet is going to be in the in the us central one and this is the range these are optional to do it from cloud shell you know if you're comfortable from ui you can also do it from uh, console as well it's easier to do it from uh, cloud shell so now you can see that um, network a central which is in the region us central one and in inside a network a and this is the subnet ring perfect completed two steps what we're going to do is we're going to create a vm using that subnet and the vm is going to be of uh, inside a us central 1a zone and it's going to use the network a and subnet network a central you can see Whenever you don't specify any other options inside this computer, it'll just take default settings like the default image and stuff. Okay, now we have a VM running. This step is done as well. We need to make sure that the VM can do the ping. So we have to enable SSH firewall for that. So this is the command. Copy this. Paste it. Created the firewall rule. Creating actually. All right, now we are done with the one project. Let's go to the second tab and let's set the project here. Ng cloud config list. The second project. This one, so I'm going to do gcloud config 
set project we're going to do the same operations in this second project as well we're going to create a network b subnet mode is custom done and we are switched to the second project and we are doing this now one thing to note here is the subnet that we are going to create in the second project is not going to overlap with what we created in the first project make sure that you also you always have a different subnet all right now we're going to create network b central subnet copy this command as well and create an instance project the second project here we are, we are creating vmb the one a central central one a zone which is running in the second project perfect we've completed this and we're going to create the firewall rule as well for this project i mean for this network so we are done with the basic steps now we haven't started the peering yet but we have created the network and we have created the vms running inside that network want to quickly check all those things you can select the project here and um, go to the compute engine you can see the vm a is running and now if you go to the networks can see in the custom project rather in the custom network we have network a and select this one go to the firewall rules you would see network a firewall we have created and it's going to apply to all targets okay now let's go to second project as well the, the vpc networks here and we have network b in us central one now if you go to the compute engine also see the vm all right guys so now we have done the basic steps we have the network we have the vms and stuff so let's start the peering very simple actually you know first select the project uh, project one which is our youtube demo youtube demo and go to the vpc peering vpc network peering click on create connection and continue so here we're going to give it as peer a b and these are some of the references that i have taken from quick labs because it's easier to follow as well as you can as you are peering from network a to network b it is easier to just give it as a b um, so that you would not be confused and in the network here we're going to select the network a peered vpc network to another project right because we are peering it to a different project not within the project so copy the project id and paste the project id here and in the network name you would give it as network b which is actually the name of the network b in this project right okay so we can don't have to worry about all these things for now just click on create so the peering has to be done from both sides from you know both projects so at this point of time you can see it would be 
inactive now let's go to the project b which is in our case my project here as well we are going to create the connection the new and here we are going to call it as peer ba because we are peering from uh, network b to network a network b and in another project project is loop and here is in name is okay all right create this let's give it some time to create peering perfect now you can see that the status is active here and if i go to youtube demo if i look at this so it's active now to test it out what we can do is we can go to the vm that we have created do ssh here let me also open it in a new tab so that i can also get the ip address of vm2 from the other project copy okay now i'm going to do ping the ip address of second network as you can see here the communication between two vms vm a which is in one project and vm vm b which is in another project and both are able to communicate you know internally using internal ip address that's a simple demo this is a good example of how you can peer the network and you can try it out and uh, you know see how it's going to work out you can try both within the project and as well as within an organization i hope this tutorial is helpful for you all and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you like this content of my channel subscribe to my channel so that you're not going to miss this awesome content with that thank you so much for watching and before you leave don't forget to stop your instances or you know shut down your instances and destroy them because you have to pay for that